I went to Tibet actually with my teacher Karen Scott she often set up the group to all this area and show people how the art form different all the art is get very old and all of those things and I saw this kind of painting but in different form and have this symbol there is an eight symbol in there to do with Buddhism like example they have one symbol which is they like an umbrella but in a traditional style and you can see the flow because they have a flow in there and some fabric tied and you can see it okay and I like it very much and I said yeah I could do that when I get back to Melbourne and I have think about Tibetan art a lot for two three days later and I just sleep and I keep thinking about this I have to paint this and it keeps him banging on the back of my head and all of that and then I got to paint it, I got to paint it and I, someone waiting for it and all that and I just said, all right, I get up in the middle of the night, I don't know what time and I just went and write it down, this is what I have to do I, like, I have to do this painting luckily, actually, I did a lot of photos I start to paint and all of those things and that is symbol they got fish a pair of fish meaning wealthy and healthy and and like freedom and all of that and and then there are a lotus funny or not tibetan lotus is quite different from any another flower and this lot, particular lot flower i want to do is very difficult because i want to make them look nice and look real as well I found out what I have to do. I use the small brush, dapping the color and dot and dot and dot and dot. A tiny flower, but it takes almost a day to do just one flower. And the color again, yeah, I want kind of pink and light, and not pink magenta. It doesn't look nice. It came out wonderful, and I'm so pleased with that. Even I show Kellen. She said, "My God, how did you do that?" We like. That looks so good, look realistic, you know that. I said, well, I'm glad you approve. Then they have a kind of pause. Because inside there, they put a lot of medicine to help you feeling good and all that, kill all the bad disease and all that. In the center there, I put three color because based on the Tibetan Buddhism, like blue, yellow, and red in there and the going around the wheel if there are two color people will think yin and yang but actually these are not yin and yang they got third party coming in uh, into all of that yeah and again i i use a lot of stone because from i discovered from i did with the dragon i said stone will bring things out as well and outside surrounding that there is called doja or thunderbolt this one lama in tibet use it for prey and they have to hold it when they do chant it and all of that. And I use that to represent as a protection. And there is a corner I have and is a dojo, I have a stone onto that. At the background of the painting, I decide to use them, make painting them look like uh, atmosphere and space because it represents everything. Look at Buddha, it's out there and majesty and kind of mystery in there and I use that and I call it an auspicious symbol because they mean all good in there that's why they call auspicious and they're eight of them